I was out of town the last couple of days, but I got home and found uh, this order I made on Amazon had been de delivered. It had these two straps on there. One of them had fallen off and only one was left on. It looks like to me it's been opened before and then taped, retaped over here. So I'm going to unbox it now and uh, hopefully everything is good. Definitely had been open once before and then taped shut. So far it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take everything out. At first glance, uh, there's a little paint chip right there. Has been banged up some, but I think I can probably live with that. Not painted so good right there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> anyway, to be expected, I guess. Not sure. Some kind of casting. Definitely got paint chipping off of it. But should serve the purpose of a jack stand. So I'm just curious about the height of these. I'm going to pause this and go get. Okay. So the red ones are the ones I just got from Amazon Prime. The black one here is the one that I got from Harbor Freight. And in comparison, the teeth on these red ones is much bigger than the teeth on this one. See how short that little thing is? And these are much, much deeper. And I think I like this a lot better. Okay, so I've taken the stand. This darker one is the one I got from Harbor Freight, the more gray. This other lighter gray colored one is the one I got from Amazon. Uh, the wells on this, I've got them turned upside down. The wells look very similar. Uh, the weld here is just fine, looks like to me. And this weld over here is fine. The one on uh, I got from Harbor Freight looks about the same. So I think I'm going to be uh, happy with these. I took the one I got from Harbor Freight back because there was a recall on it and I told them I didn't want a refund I just wanted to get a, two more jack stands that didn't have a recall on them and the lady told me they're completely completely out of jack stands and she didn't know when they would be coming back in 
So she issued me a refund. I was buying some things that day and uh, it didn't total up to the amount of the cost of the uh, jack stands. So she gave me a, uh, a gift card for $9.75 or whatever it was, was the balance that they owed me on those jack stands. So I uh, found these on, found this pro lift on Amazon Prime and I decided to go ahead and buy them. This jack stand here did not have the number on it that had been recalled. You can see the number there. 62393. That one was not part of the recall. But I kind of wish it had been. Would have liked to have taken these back and got them replaced with this with this here. The cost is about exactly the same. Uh, I don't remember. It was very very close to the amount of buying these as it was to buying these at Harbor Freight. And like I say, these this part here looks better to me. One of the things that I did. I thought, well, why is there a recall on those? So what I did was I put this in here. I put this inside the one from Harbor Freight. You have to lift this up. And I put some pressure down on it. And it does seem to hold really good, no matter how much you wiggle it around. But if I lift up on that just a little bit, I mean just a little bit while I'm pushing down, it'll it'll go down. So the key is to never ever have anything touch this while you have your vehicle jacked up. Because that thing will come down fast. I'm going to lift it just a, just a little bit. There you see it came down right away. This one has a safety feature. Let's see how it works. Okay. Okay, so you've got your vehicle on there, and you put this key in there. Maybe it goes in from the other side, it would make more sense. So there the key is. Now, you can't lift up on this. So it, it is locked into place. There is no way that thing can fall. So I'm more impressed with this. I like these. I wish they would recall all of my Harbor Freight jack stands so I could take them all back and end up replacing them with this, which has this safety feature on it, which is good. That one, like I say, I mean, you can wiggle it all over the place. And it isn't going to come down. I'm pushing down as hard as I can and wiggling it all over the place. But if you just barely tap that part of it and you have your load on it, I guess it could come down. Because I tried that. I can't do it with... with Hold the phone at the same time. If I'm pushing down with this hand, pushing down as hard as I can, and I just take my other hand and I tap that, just tap it a little bit, it'll boom, go down. Now, I don't know if you have the weight of the vehicle on there, if you can 
tap that hard enough to not let it come down. I wouldn't want to try it with a vehicle on there. But uh, I like these. I like this new one better. Okay. So one of the things that people have complained about in their reviews is that it's not very clear in the description on whether you're getting a six ton per jack or a three ton per jack. Well, you can see right here on the box, it says dual locking jack stands stands being plural not singular it doesn't say jack stand singular it says jack stands plural six tons and also here on the uh, manual it has capacity per pair and it's six tons or 12,000 pounds per pair and there's the part number there, the 6906D, which is what I have, is six tons per pair. Just like on the box, it has dual locking jack stands, plural, is six tons. So it is three tons per jack stand, singular. You only, you get three tons per stand singular. I know it is kind of confusing and maybe it should somehow be clarified in the description but uh, I'm going to pause it for a minute and go to my truck. So this is my half ton Chevy Silverado 1500 and if you open the door you see here that uh, the GVWR rating is 6,400 pounds. So those jack stands together hold 12,000 pounds. One jack stand all by itself holds 6,000 pounds. So if this truck was fully loaded, had a, had a big load in the back of that truck, the gross vehicle weight rating of this truck is 6,400 pounds. So if you could somehow balance a fully loaded half ton truck on one jack stand, you would exceed the capacity of that jack stand because it's 6,000 pounds per stand. But if you go over here to the right of that and see axle rating, G-A-W-R, for the front is 3,925 pounds. So if this vehicle was fully loaded, it shouldn't have more than 3,925 pounds on the front axle. And one jack stand holds 6,000 pounds. So also on the axle rating on the rear, if we go a little bit further to the right, 3,750 pounds so there again we're way under a 6,000 pound jack stand singular one stand 6,000 pounds so those jack stands are really fine for my vehicle and most trucks even if it's a three-quarter ton maybe start to have problems with a one ton if it was fully fully loaded and you try to use the jack stands under a fully loaded truck, uh, you might start to have problems with farm equipment. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out as part of my review.